Behold the mysteries of the garbage disposal. Dun, dun, dun! Notice the water dripping in the mysterious crevasses of this device. Let's remove this cover and get a better look at the insides of this magical machine. Here we go. We've got a close inside view of what makes this machine tick. Notice there's kind of dark triangular pieces. Now, that's the pieces that grind everything up. They're sharp. I've touched them before. And that is basically it. Um, you'll, you'll notice there's some holes and the food waste, once it's ground into small particles, must disappear into those holes. We're going to see it in action in just a minute. So before we get to the exciting action of grinding, pulverizing, and macerating the pieces, uh, let's cover some basics of this invention. Boo! <laughs> so imagine way back in 1927, this guy, John Hammies, invented this thing. But it wasn't until 1940 that the Insincorator hit the market. Dun, dun, dun. Now we have been discussing why are these devices so popular in America with about 50% of the households having one <gasps> while in other parts of the world they're not nearly as popular. Well, I did a little digging, and it turns out that Insincorator hired this guy, Robert Cox, who kind of made it his mission to get these things installed and approved all across, all across the country. Um, when he began, there were many uh, local municipalities that were very nervous about this idea of food waste going into the sewers. Um, but he did a real huge public public ad campaign to change that perception. So he worked with plumbers and um, you know sanitation inspectors before then working with consumers. Okay, apologies. I'm getting a little distracted by my assistant here. But, um, yeah, I also, interesting little tidbit uh, I think you'll enjoy is that these devices were completely illegal in New York City until 1997. That's not that long ago. Um, but in many other parts of the United States, these were okay to install much earlier than that, thanks to the tireless efforts of this Robert Cox character. Okay, so anyhow, with the boring stuff out of the way, Yay! let's get down to business and get grinding. Woo! That's my assistant you hear. Carrot time! Oh, we're gonna work up to the carrot. Let's work up to the carrot. Okay, so it's gonna get a little bit louder because I've always been told that we need to run water while operating the garbage disposal unit. Um, so we're gonna run the water and run the electricity. Maximum. Because Americans are wasteful. <laughs> exactly. We've got the water. Throw another one in. Oh boy. Heads up, folks. Okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That was 
Let's see what's going on in here. Okay, so that was... Uh, I hate to be wasteful, but that was a chunk of Asian pear from our... Uh, from across the street that had a bunch of worms in it, or insect holes. So we grinded uh, up insects? So, yeah, we just sent that off to the... Um, Magical underworld of Sinkland. Yeah, okay, are we ready for... Should we do the carrot? The grand finale. Okay, so when you drop this in, drop it in from the side, maybe. ASMR. Is this the, is this the uh, grand finale? Yes. Okay, there might be some other... I've got some other stuff we could chuck in it's there. It's disgusting, so I will not be participating. Three, two... One. Drum roll! Oh, God! I saw Chunky flying! <laughs> Okay. I saw Chunky's flag! Uh, yeah, so it looks like, I don't know, everything just disappeared. <laughs> okay, and just to further reveal the full mysteries of this, um, for those of you who are st still tuned in and still curious about what makes these machines tick, uh, I can tell you a little bit about this because I just installed a new one. Um... I installed a new one because my old one died and I also installed it really only because these connectors up to the sink were already there. I already had one in. Um, I actually don't use it that much, uh, hardly at all, because I'm lucky to live in a city that we have citywide composting, uh, which basically makes this obsolete. But um, I'm not a plumber. And I was feeling a little nervous about my ability to uh, kind of replace this whole situation with a, a standard, um, you know, a non-garbage disposal unit. Um, and yeah, so anyhow, I just bought a new one. Um, they retail for about 125 American dollars. Um, it probably would have been cheaper to just uh, get rid of it if I had the plumbing skills, but, um, so I'll show you, I mean, when you buy it, it comes with all the fittings, but I was able to basically just in, like leave all this stuff up here. And then this lowest metal connector is what I connected it onto. Um, but otherwise you've got just kind of this black box, uh, canister here which is where all the magic happens. Um, I now know after installing this, that this is the uh, exit tube. Goes out here, down and around, and out into the American sewers. Um, you can see I've got a power plug back here. Um, and that's pretty much it. This, this little area here, um, it's optional. You can put your, um, this dishwasher line um, out to that, but um, my dishwasher line goes somewhere else, and I'm not going to mess with that, because, yeah, why mess with success? So, um, this is the unit itself. Um, yeah, that was pretty exciting watching it grind things up. Oh, this is a bonus round. I figure we need just a little bit more um, demonstration, ridiculous wastefulness. Um, like I said, normally I'm putting my food scraps into this compost bin here, which is loaded with all kinds of great stuff. Um, and then that goes out to my main bin. But I've got a little bit of leftover chicken noodle soup that... Um, is pretty old and I've got some greens too. Leafy greens don't do quite as well um, but maybe with this brand new unit maybe stuff will be a little different. Um, yeah I think from what I can tell these things were invented at a time when people were putting their food waste into 
their garbage bags and taking them to the dump. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's redundant in, in my household here. Um, but yeah, let's, let's grind some more stuff because it's actually kind of fun. And it's really cool to use this like it's brand new and just seeing how it works. Um, I usually keep that black cover on, by the way, but here we go. <laughs> Chicken noodle soup. <laughs> of course, don't stick your fingers in there. Let's see how... See how it does with all that greafy, leafy green matter. Okay, enough, enough water. Um, check it out, guys. It's like, ooh, I'm getting steamed up. It's hot in there. I had hot water on, I guess. Um, it's totally gone. It's amazing. It's a piece of magic. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put this back into my compost. These little bits. Um, but there you go. I hope this helps clear up some of the mysteries of what a garbage disposal is all about. Until next time, see you later, friends.